get, baby. All right, we got to keep playing. You win points by answering questions correctly, sharing the social from the app, and this season you can even earn bonus points for winning the game. Points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass lets you get a question wrong and stay in the game. Basically, the higher your level, the more free passes you have, and you can climb as high as level 10. Look at it go! Yeah! Y'all hear me? I hope you hear me. Because if you hit level 10, that means you only have to answer a couple co- a couple questions correctly to win HQ for the entire season. And this season, we're giving out more money than we did last season. All right? So much money. You know how to play, right? I'm going to give you 12 questions. They start out easy, but they get harder than trying to shave with a butter knife. You got 10 seconds to tap the correct answer. Get all of them right. You and whoever's left is taking home a piece of the prize. That's right. Today, I'm giving away 50 million points. 50 million. That's going to help you level up way fast, okay? Wicked fast, as they say in Boston. You're going to want an extra life, all right? And an eraser. Extra lives keep you in the game after you get a question wrong. You can buy one now if you see it on your screen. And uh, if you don't, it's coming one day, okay? An eraser eliminates one of the wrong answers, giving you a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Remember, you can only use one of these per game and not on the final round. All right? Don't try it, because it ain't going to work. Okay, before we start, tonight, babies, it's Gilmore Girls Trivia. Did you binge watch all those old episodes? Because it's your time to channel your inner Lorelai and Rory. You don't want to miss this. That's tonight at 9 p.m. All right? Now, who is ready? To get to the quiz and there's nothing to it but to HQ it. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Here we go. Question number one. Which of these is a play by William Shakespeare? Much Ado About Nothing, A Lot of Loose Chit Chat, or So Much Trash Talk? This is Shakespearean play. One of these three. All right. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the East! Dishing out trash talk. Shakespeare never said that. The answer here is much ado about nada. Much ado about nothing, y'all. 178,414 are moving on to question number two. Here we go. (laughs) Whoop-de-doo. Which of these desserts usually contains at least some dairy? Sherbet, shaved ice, or snow cone? I'll let y'all figure this out. It's got at least a little bit of dairy in there. What's it gonna be? Sherbert? Sherbet? I don't know who says Sherbet. Sherbert? <laughs> Which one you got? Let me know in the chat if you say Sherbet or Sherbert. Okay, either way, the main difference between Sorbet and Sherbert is that the latter's got some dairy in there. Sherbert, y'all. Sherbet, baby. Sherbet time. Uh, 12,000 y'all thought snow cones had some dairy. Uh, that's not really snow then. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, okay, whatever. 163,610 of you got sherbet or sherbert. Good job. <laughs> Big news. Oh, I got to tell y'all this. Next week, we're doing something that's never been done before. Okay? Get ready to rethink everything you thought you knew about animation. Okay? Because this is about to change history. It's a special HQ event live from Australia. Crikey! It's in celebration of the Lego Movie 2, baby! Yes, Scott is going where no host has gone before to present HQ in a way that's never been done before. We got $75,000 up for grabs, and a handful of lucky players will win rare, limited edition collectible capsules. It all goes down next Wednesday at 9 p.m. Trust me, I know I say all the time, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss this, okay? $75,000 up for the taking. How much of that money will you be making? We're going to see. And since we're going to see, it's time for question number three. What pop star recently got an incorrect tattoo that was supposed to mean seven rings? Ariana Grande, Adam Levine, or Ja Rule? This is a tattoo. They got it. And, uh, they didn't fact check this one. Okay? Languages are tough. And if you want to write seven rings in Japanese kanji characters, it's very easy to write, uh, tiny charcoal grill. Instead, yeah, just ask Ariana Grande, who now has a lovely tattoo of tiny charcoal grill. 
Yep. Dang, that's sad. 142,333 got Ariana Grande. Thank you. Next. Next question. I should have had a ponytail for that. Can we put a ponytail with the green screen? Okay. Thank you. Next. I'm so freaking grateful for this question. Question four. Which of these is the official name for residents of Sydney, Australia? Sydney Ciders, Sydneysians, or Sydney Whitney's? I learn something new every day on this show. Word. Okay. None of them, none of them look quite right, right? We got Sydney Siders, Sydneysians, and Sydney Witness. Uh, but I assure you, Sydney Siders. That's the answer there. 60. Th- that is a savage question. Uh oh. What's popping tonight? Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Savage question. Ooh, savage question. That was more of a jiggle than a shimmy. Got to get to the gym. Sydney Siders. 60,797 of y'all got that one. High five. Yeah. Here we go. Question number five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Woo. The haircut made famous by gymnastics legend Mary Lou Retton is commonly known as what? Bowl cut, beehive, or the Rachel? Yeah, Mary Lou Retton getting her gymnast on. But what kind of haircut was she rocking that, uh, you know, let's see. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but I don't think a beehive hairdo would make gymnastics easier. And since Mary Lou Retton became famous long before Friends was on the air, the answer here has to be the bowl cut. Look at that bowl! Turn it upside down, put some chips in there. Yeah, <laughs> 104,367. I'm moving on to question number six. Here we go. In the modern Catholic Church, which of these titles ranks highest? Cardinal, Archbishop, or Deacon? Which of them ranks the highest? In the modern Catholic Church. All right. In what is possibly the largest bureaucracy in the world, deacons are near the bottom, and archbishops archbishops are very high up, okay? Though not as high up as cardinals who report directly to the Pope and occasionally elect a new one with a different color smoke. Yeah, 73,243 got cardinal. You're moving on to question seven, babies! Here we go! Okay. Though it's associated with the holidays, which plant is botanically considered a parasite? Poinsettia, mistletoe, or holly? Technically, it's a parasite when you think about it. All right, you got to wonder about the symbolism here, okay? Because the mistletoe under which you kissed your significant other this Christmas is technically a parasite. Yeah, but I'm confident your significant other is not a parasite in any way. Yeah, I'm hoping you ain't in a relationship with a parasitic human. Uh, Cause that, you should probably break up. You should probably get out of there for you. You know what I'm saying? For your sake and your sanity, your mental well-being. Just leave. Forty-four thousand two hundred forty got mistletoe. The par- the blood sucking <laughs> mistletoe. <laughs> okay. Question number eight. You know you're feeling great. Let's get it. The main governing body for uh, international synchronized swimming recently renamed the sport what? Ingenious swimming, creative swimming, or artistic swimming? Hmm, what's it gonna be? All right, synchronized swimming fans, listen up. As of 2017, synchronized swimming is now officially known as artistic swimming. So adjust your references accordingly. 37,458. Just got that one. You're closer to this 50 million points that's about to get given away. About to, I'm about to give it away. Word. <laughs> okay, question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine. The Greek name Hieronymus corresponds with what English language name? Ira, Chad, or Jerome? Hieronymus. Woo, Hieronymus. Back in the day, Hieronymus was the coolest thing to name your kids. Uh, 
from Dutch painter Hieronymus Bosch, uh, German historian Hieronymus Wolff, and uh, Saint Hieronymus. Or, as you most likely know him, Saint Jerome. I said Jerome in the house. I said Jerome in the house. Watch your mouth. 26,662. Got Jerome. Yeah, Rome and Rome. <laughs> I love Martin. That's such a, that's such a great show. Yeah. Okay, question number 10. Here we go, my friends. Time to get it in. Which famous detective was not portrayed by Humphrey Bogart, Dick Tracy, Sam Spade, or Philip Marlowe? Who's it gonna be? Let's find out together. All right, Bogey played uh, two famous noir detectives, but which two, hmm? Sam Spade is from the Maltese Falcon, which you might recall stars Bogart, and Philip Marlowe is in uh, The Big Sleep. Yeah, which Bogart starred in with his wife, Lauren Bacall. No Dick Tracy for Bogues. <laughs> 19,802 knew what to do, look at you. I see you. And you're probably smiling right now. Go ahead and smile. Yeah. Living your best life. Question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. Here we go. Which country's national anthem asked God to quash the knavish tricks of enemies? United Kingdom, Sweden, or Norway? Quash the, na the knavish tricks. What? <laughs> All right, there's a lot of antics going on in the second verse of this song. I was listening to it earlier. Not only does it ask God to confound enemies' knavish tricks. Check it out. It, it also asks them to confuse their politics. I mean, at least the title keeps it simple. God save the queen of the UK, United Kingdom. You saw the flag? Yeah. Ooh, this one was close, but it's a savage question. Woo! Savage quest song! Sorry you got it wrong. So sorry that you got that wrong. The United Kingdom was the right answer there. You've got to spank it if you want to bank it. 6,600 of you are moving on to question number 12. Here we go. What's that smell? It smells like money. Follow me at Matt was funny. Question 12. I said question 12. What is that smell? It's delightful. Question 12. Verily. Okay, here we go, y'all. Bessie Stringfield is famous for being the first black woman to do what solo? Motorcycle across the U.S., conduct an orchestra, or climb an alley? Bessie Stringfield, y'all. We're almost in February, Black History Month, so I'm hitting y'all with a question. She's the first black woman to do what, okay? Stringfield was a rare civilian uh, dispatcher during World War II. Yeah, who eventually crossed the U.S. eight times, all on a motorcycle. Come on now, Bessie! Vroom, vroom! Riding through this world, all alone. 5,161. Got it right! You just won HQ Trivia! Y'all gonna split 50, 50 million points! What?! <laughs> I love this job. I love it so much. <laughs> we got winners. Yeah. Splitting a big old point prize. Whole lot of points. Okay, Abhishek, congratulations. You got 9,689 points. SDPR, you got 9,000, same amount. Ali Cat, Daddy No. What? <laughs> I don't know what the rest of it is because it got all strunk. Congratulations on all those points, y'all. They help you level up so you can win the big bucks because we got it coming. I promise you. We've got lots of surprises in store this season. Remember, we're giving away more money than we did last season. So you got to keep your phone close, okay? Keep it close to you, all right? And don't forget, uh, next Wednesday, is, it's going to be crazy. It's a big show. It's going to change animation forever. This is historic. I'm not playing, all right? It's a special HQ event live from Down Under. Good on ya. Another shrimp on the barbie.
Scott goes where no host has gone before for HQ in a way that's never been done before. With $75,000 up for grabs, and a handful of lucky players are going to be winning those rare limited edition collectible capsules. Try saying that three times fast. Whoa! What? My face hurts. Limited edition collectible capsules, y'all. Limited edition collectible... <laughs> Y'all gonna, somebody gonna get some limited edition collectible capsules. Limited edition collectible capsules. That's fun to say. Limited edition. Limited edition. <laughs> I've been your host, Matt Riches. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. Come back tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern for Gilmore Girls Trivia, baby. All right. Remember, the prize keeps going for every point you earn. We're giving away way more money than you think, okay? The more you play, the more we pay. I'll see you later, babies. Peace out!